Well, hello, what is legacy? You know what? Legacy is, and legacy is backed up always by activity, always. I wanna share something that I have up in my home that is a goal poster. The legacy you leave behind is the life you lead today. The life you lead today, not the life that you just accept, let come your way, succumb to, um, excuse your way through, that you lead today. And Mary Kay said there's three ways to lead, by example, by example, and by example. So if her legacy, your legacy is based on leading by example, that means there has to be activity to back it up, which what's so exciting about that is it's trackable and measurable because legacy can seem so ambivalent. Like I want the legacy, I wanna go from here to there, but what's in between? In Mary Kay, it's book, coach, sell, and recruit. It is passing it on. It is gold meddling month after month. It's power starting month after month. It's moving women up the career path to their best. Mary Kay was real clear in her autobiography that what she wants to hear from us most is good and faithful servant. And if you check that parable out, it's a multiplication. It's a doing thing. The first two who hear good and faithful servant doubled what they were given. And they were different amounts. There's no reason to compare yourself. It's different for every single person. The third person did nothing, buried the gifts and talents because they were afraid and unwilling to take the risk. You guys, faith, equals multiplication, pure and simple. And it's biblically based. If you wanna test me out on this, there's no other way to say it. Faith equals multiplication. And we multiply in Mary Kay through sharing the product and the opportunity, and we track the activity. Legacy is always based on, predicated by, and there is no legacy without activity.